In this tutorial, we're gonna be going over a new asset that I just found called Bro VFX. Bro VFX is a VFX pack that has transitions, sound effects, 2D animations, and titles that you can just plug and play inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've bought in like almost every transition pack possible to DaVinci Resolve, and I really love this one because of the ease of use and with how much they actually give you, there is something for everything. I'm not like a big fan of like the zoom in transitions and stuff, but they have such a wide variety of transitions. Any editor will find something that they will use from this VFX pack. It is a little bit pricey. It is about $159 to buy the pack, but you can also go into their products and you can just buy the ones that you specifically like. So of course you can always just browse around and figure out what, and then pick the ones that you would actually use. For me, I love their sound effects packs, their glitch animations, and their overlays are things that I absolutely love using in almost all of my videos. So let's go ahead and just dive in and just see what Bro VFX has. So once you download Bro VFX, it's gonna go ahead and give you this file type right here, this Bro pack. Double click that and then that will go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve and then put all the effects inside of your editing page. I've already done this obviously, so I can just go ahead and press cancel. There will be two other packs that you get if you buy the entire bundle and that is a sound effects pack and also the 2D assets that you get with them. So let's go over here really fast. Hop in here so you can see all these 2D animations. And these are honestly, if you do a whole bunch of animation stuff, these are so fun to just add to give you a little bit of energy to all of your animations. There's lightning strikes, there's explosions, there's electrical currents. And they, these really can spice up any type of animation really quickly and they're just plug and play. They are all on a black background. So if you stick any of these on to any of your clips, what you will have to do is just come over here and grab the clips and change the composition to any of the modes that you like. For, for a black background, you're most likely just gonna use screen, and now you can see those effects on your video. With the sound effects and the 2D animations, what I like to do is go to my power bins, and I put them in my power bins. That way, they're always there for me to access from project to project. So in order to do that, all I did was come into here. In my media pool, I found where I kept the bro pack, which is just right here right click and then add folder and subfolder in a media pool and I stuck it in my power bin and now that media will always be available from project to project for me. So let's go over some of the effects that Bro Pack actually comes with and if we go down to the effects panel you can see here are all the effects that you get with the Bro Pack. Now most of these are actually pretty customizable but of course, you should always just go through and just kind of see what you like with these different effects. Now, you also have video transitions, and this is where there are just so many that I will not be able to cover all of them. And if you like one that you love and you're gonna use all the time, you can always favorite it so it's easy to find inside of your... And as you can see, there are just like hundreds of these transitions that you can use. Every transition that you're seeing in this video right here is actually using the Bro VFX pack. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the effects panel because I think this is where you get a lot of really, really cool things that you can do. Some of the ones that I've already kind of gone through and I really, really like is you obviously have the cinematic bars and let's go ahead and add ourselves a, an adjustment layer right here. Okay, so we have an adjustment layer on top of our clip. What we can do is we can come here and add the cinematic bars to our video. That'll give you that classic kind of anamorphic look. And of course, over here in the scale, you can just change that to be at what size that you want. I shoot anamorphic almost constantly nowadays. And so actually adding this is really nice because then I can turn those clips that aren't anamorphic and have them look a little bit more cinematic with the cinematic bars really quick and easy right here. So that cinematic bars, one of my favorite little additions that they also have is this cinematic RGB flare. So let's go ahead and just add that to the video right there. And as you can see, what that does is it adds one of those blue flares, just like Michael Bay has. And you can go ahead and you can change the position, change the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick that kind of right next to the car light right there. If we wanted to, we can change the color of it, make it a little bit more orange. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with blue for now. And it also adds just like a little bit of a radial blur as a fall off over here. So you can see if I change that, you can see that radial blur happening, which is a very anamorphic thing to have is like a little bit of a radial blur. So 
got that radio blur and you have RGB so we can have a little bit of an RGB split kind of like a chromatic aberration type thing happening right here and again with just two clicks of a button you can already see how much better this clip already looks with just the bro pack so let's go ahead and just turn that off and then turn those back on and just with two effects, we already have a really cool looking image. There are a whole bunch of other effects. We also have a little glowing light. So as you can see on what this one is doing right here is it's just giving a nice soft glow. I actually really like this on faces. I don't know if I have a shot of any faces right here. Maybe we add it to this. You can kind of see it gives that really kind of filmic, like dreamy look to it. And of course you can always just bring it down just a little bit. I like to grab the opacity and just kind of bring it down and just, it gives it kind of more of a dreamy film-like look. You can also add a whole bunch of retro film grades to these, some effects like these RGB trail frames and just a whole bunch of different effects that you can add, especially to give just a little bit of character and a little bit of intensity to your edits. Like for example, on both of these, if I wanted to, I could add this RGB trail or I could just add the trail and that's gonna go ahead and just give me a slight different look and effect to my video. You can add any type of film grain that you like, wiggle, camera effects. You have all these really rad glitches that I love to use these as just like little quick cuts. So let's go ahead and go over here and just do a cut right here and a cut right here. We can go ahead and just add like two quick fast glitches right here. So let's go ahead and drag this on, give it that glitch. And then let's go ahead and try, um, Let's go ahead and do like this glitch right here. And now you have a nice, quick, easy little glitch transition that's happening on your footage. So that's a really cool way to just like be using these glitches. I like to do it all the time. So it's like on a clip like this, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this a couple of times and you can just add glitches in between those clips to just give a little bit of character to the clip. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to the video transitions. You can do these really quick, easy lens slides. And you can see how quickly that these are rendering. I'm recording my screen, I'm editing 4K footage, and I think I have a 4K timeline, and these are just editing, these are almost rendering at real time. And so you have all these just different transitions that are just super easy to just plug and play, make them as big as you want. So let's go ahead, let's add a transition, come over here. If you click that, then you can see all the effects that you can do. You can increase the shutter angle, the quality. Now the quality is set by default to 20, which is really, really high. And that might make your computer lag just a little bit. Like as you can see on mine, it is lagging a little bit. So you can always just go into that and you can dial that down and that'll probably make it much quicker. Yeah, see that already made it a little bit quicker on my computer right there. If you go down to the bottom, these zoom transitions actually have a really cool feature on them. So if you click the zoom transition, you can go into here and you can actually press target and a little target will pop up. And if you click and drag this or move this around, you can then target where you want the zoom to actually be taking place. So let's go ahead, go right here and go up and I want the zoom to happen and go right into that. And now it'll zoom into that little area. Of course, when you're done with the target, make sure to turn it off so you don't have that little like target looking thing on the video. And so now you can see it'll zoom in to where we had put the target on the video. And now you have that super quick, easy transition. Of course, just go through and play with all these transitions. The cool thing about all these transitions is that you can pick which ones that you want. So each of these have a category and on brovfx.com, you can pick the category. So you can always just click into this. You can go ahead and watch and it will give you a demonstration of all the effects and all the transitions. So if there's a transition that you like and you don't wanna pay the entire amount, you can just go ahead and pay a smaller amount and just get the transitions that you think that you will use. For example, one thing that I actually really like to do are these uh, split transitions. So up here, these are ones that I would use constantly, especially for like motion graphics and design like that. You can add a text one to it, split text. Um, I just like these a lot because they're super easy. If you have just a couple images, go ahead and add the split transition. And as you can see, it just splits the image. And this looks great for motion graphics and stuff like that. Titles, intros, anything like that. And of course, you can always go into their video titles also. And as you can see, all the titles that they have 
they have tried to copy a lot of just like movie titles. So these aren't motion graphic animations. These are video titles to use as like a more, I don't want to say serious edit, but it's more of like an actual just like video edit or a film edit video title. So let's go ahead and just type that in here and type in Mercedes. Let's see if I spelled that right. Who knows? I don't really care. And then you can see it comes up with the title right there. And so you can always go through these and just see which ones that you like. And I believe if you go to their website, it will actually show you those also. So movie title builder and then title pack. So yeah, these aren't motion graphics. These are just simply titles to use on your inside of your edits. So that is Bro VFX. I absolutely love this pack. It is fantastic. With just a couple simple clicks, you can create some really cool transitions. If you want to check out Bro VFX, head down to the description below and use my promo code to get 40% off through the end of March. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.